Are you exhausted on top of your IBS symptoms? Watch this video for a few tips on how to recharge and start feeling like yourself again. For the most helpful information you'll find about IBS online, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified every Friday when I post a new video. If your IBS is making you exhausted and struggling to drag yourself through every day, by the end of the episode, you'll be able to clear through the fog and know how to conserve, rebuild, and recharge your energy. I'm Wendy Lung, holistic health and happiness coach, licensed acupuncturist, and powerhouse IBS conqueror. And IBS used to zap the energy out of me too. I teach my clients how to recharge and have enough energy to get their IBS under control. And now I'm sharing with you too. You used to have all the energy in the world, but now your battery is constantly running low. You push really hard, so you're able to get things done, but you feel like you're running on fumes and you crash as soon as you get home. Or you're constantly in a brain fog, starting as soon as you wake up, and your body feels heavy and achy on top of all your gut issues. You can't focus on anything, and you're actually not even sure how you're getting through the day. Do either of these sound like you? Drop a one or a two in the comments below. Chronic illness is draining and IBS is no different. Your body reacts as if it's in a constant state of crisis, so your sympathetic nervous system is engaged. All your energy is diverted to staying on high alert and ringing the alarm, so you have nothing left for normal everyday tasks. Pain is exhausting, and let's face it, when our mood is low and we feel like crap, no pun intended, our energy levels get lower too. With IBS, we focus a lot on digestive symptoms, like urgent diarrhea, bloating, abdominal pain and cramping, chronic constipation, but the truth is, these things take a toll on your entire body. Over time, if your body can't repair and restore, you end up draining all your energy away and all of your other organ systems can't function properly either. Eventually, your mind, body, and spirit get completely exhausted and you feel heavy, short of breath, depressed, and no matter how much sleep you get, you just can't seem to get your energy levels back up. The long-term solution is to really get your IBS under control, but how are you supposed to tackle your IBS when it's all you can do some days to just get out of bed in the morning? Here are three tips to help you conserve and recharge your batteries so that you can build up enough energy to start healing your body. Number one, say no and feel good about it. Sometimes the guilt of turning down social activities so many times makes you feel even more anxious and sad. If you can shift your perspective and remember that you're temporarily saying no so that you can say yes right now to your health and your body, you'll feel better about saying it in the moment. And when you're recovered, you'll be able to say yes again and be fully present, spending quality time with your loved ones. Number two, get good quality sleep. This one's completely obvious, but it's easier said than done. Your body restores and regenerates during good quality sleep. So if you're not sleeping well, then your body doesn't get to restore itself. If you're having trouble sleeping, adding deep breathing to your pre-bed routine can help you calm your mind and your body so that you can relax and really get the rest that you need. Number three, positive affirmations in the morning. Start your day with intent. I mentioned before that as much as our energy levels affect our mood, our mood can also affect our energy levels. Even if you're low on energy, you can set your intention to be calm and focused as soon as you wake up in the morning to steer your mind and body in the right direction. Keeping your energy high vibe will also make sure that you're not wasting your energy, spinning your wheels, overthinking, and stuck in a negative thought cycle. Of course, solving fatigue and chronic illness is not as easy as one, two, three, but these tips will at least help you conserve your energy so that you can feel well enough to start getting better. If you wanna learn more about how to really get a handle on your IBS, sign up for my free online class where I will share three essential shifts that you need to make sure that you get your IBS under control for good. The link is in the description box below. Also, community is so important, especially as your fatigue is exhausting you into becoming a hermit. So make sure that you join a tribe of people just like you in my Facebook community of powerful women conquering IBS, where you can still stay connected 
and supported without actually leaving your house for now. If you like this video, let me know by liking it below, drop a comment with the word helpful, and let me know what your biggest takeaway was. And also make sure that you share this with all of your fellow IBS conquerors because we are not alone and I want to spread the word that IBS is not a forever thing so that I can help you guys beat this together. I still have a lot to share with you, including more tips on how you can get rid of your IBS and everything else that comes along with it. So make sure that you subscribe to my channel, hit the bell so that you get notified every Friday when I release a new episode.